Yep. Look up. I mean, look how big it is inside. the paddle lantern and that's because the pilot Patrick he's the pilot and Felicia is his wife she's the crew chief she's the one that tells all of us what to do all right um, he's taking it out because it's getting too breezy and windy and there's too much wind the balloon will move over and the burner actually melts the cabin so we don't want that you guys get the coolest part I love watching balloons come down so look at this. It looks like a giant ball. Yeah! Grab it! When you close that, it allows the hot air to escape. And you need hot air to make the balloon hot. Because the air expands, it becomes less dense. So it's a lot of science and math in making a hot air balloon work. Fastest when it's fully loaded with fuel, not counting the pilot or any passengers, is 760 pounds. If you can weight the air inside, plus the fabric, plus the balloon, it's over 9,000 pounds. So one of the most important things when you see a balloon coming in to land, we don't have brakes like cars and trucks. Where I live, we've got trees that are 60 and 80 and 100 foot tall. So I'll clip the top of the trees to help slow down. Out here, we don't have any of that. So we just come in and keep scooting across the ground and scooting across the ground until we slow down enough or the crew can catch us. How does a hot air balloon fly? Okay, when it's laid out on the ground just like that, First thing, we've got a fan with a uh, gasoline motor on it, and it inflates the balloon. It just pumps regular air into it. And once it gets full enough, I add heat to that air with that burner that you saw going off, and it heats the air, and that makes it come up. And when I'm ready to fly, I heat that air up even more, and there's a difference between inside the balloon temperature and the outside air temperature and the hot air rises. So the hotter I make that air, the faster I rise. <laughs>